I want to make a, a video that repeats actually an earlier video I made, but by making it again, I'm hoping that it will um, remind each of you or maybe for the first time inform each of you about how the homework assignments work um, in our class. Um, so let's just look at a topic here. So for each topic, there is a homework assignment. You'd find that homework assignment, as you see here, as I went to topic one, introduction, and you scroll down, and you scroll down, and you scroll down, and you'd have the Flipgrid response, which is one thing, but then you'd have the homework assignment, topic number one, which is another thing. So click that. Okay. I'm going to look on as you would look on. And go back to the homework. Okay, here are the instructions, but I really want to highlight this further. There's no time limit, but the biggest thing is that you can keep doing this homework assignment until you get a perfect score. Um, and there's a fairly, um, there's a non-zero number of you who do not realize that and are doing it only once and taking the score as it is, which I don't think you are intending to do. So, let's just begin the assessment. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to answer A to everything here, just so I can show you what's going on. So I'm working on this, working on this, working on this. Some of these I'm seeing I'm going to get right. Most of these I am not. Okay, so I finished them all, and after I finished all the questions, I submitted for grading. Just confirm that you submitted it for grading. You're going to get an email that's going to say that it was successfully submitted. It's important, but what, here's the next step of what you need to do. You now need to go to tests and quizzes. I know this is a homework assignment, but it's, it's um, contained. Um, the homework is contained under tests and quizzes. Okay, now scroll down, and you'll see submitted assignments you will see my topic one introduction uh, introductory assignment i will see the feedback right here click on that now where i see one out of one points it means i got it correct where i see zero out of one points it means i got it wrong so now i would do this assignment a second time and i would fix the seven questions that i presumably got incorrect and still answer the same way for the three uh for the other three so you just keep doing the assignment again and again, learning as you see why something um, is not counting um, as correct. And if it's still unclear why it's incorrect, that'd be just a simple email to me to find out why that is the case. Okay, so I hope that helps and I would encourage you each strongly to keep doing the homework assignments to get the 100% score.